Hello again, welcome to Mark Groupie Outdoors. I'm your host, Mark Groupie. Well, welcome to Mini Show Monday. Today we have part two of your pack and what's in it. We hope you enjoy it. Okay, another important thing to have, tracking tape. We can use this to mark our blood trails or to mark trails to find our way back or let other people know where we're at. First aid kit, depending on where you're going, what you're after, how far back in you'll be, uh, you're gonna wanna have some sort of first aid kit. Extra reading glasses. For us people as we get older and our eyes start taking a crap on us, uh, we have our regular reading glasses, but we're gonna wanna take along some spare ones hidden somewhere in our pack. I carry this little stick, it's got extra duct tape and extra electrical tape on it, besides the stuff wrapped on my knife. Again, very good for first aid, repairing things, anything handy to have. An extra release for bow hunters, um, of course you're gonna have your release on you, but if you lose that or it breaks, something happens to it, you leave it behind, you're gonna have another release with you and you don't wanna have to go five miles back to camp to, to get another release. I bring some wash towels, some sent away wash towels. I don't know if uh, you necessarily need the, the sent away part, just some baby wipes would probably do. Again, they're a little bit extra, a little bit extra weight, a little bit extra size, so you're gonna balance whether you uh, really need those or like that extra luxury. And then when you get back at uh, camp and uh, it's a little bit cold or maybe it's rainy during the day, maybe you wanna uh, start a fire. So I take some sort of fire starters some sort of uh, weatherproof matches, and, um, and that'll get me going real easy. And then for cooking, you're gonna have to decide how you wanna do that. There's a number of different ways you can go with that. Um, I use this jet boil here, it's just super handy. And then for your food, how many days out, how many nights out are you gonna be? I like these uh, freeze-dried meals at night, sometimes for breakfast. And then I like bagels, peanut butter, honey, bacon, whatever and plenty of trail mix, energy bars, and stuff like that for the amount of time that I'm gonna be gone. Your water consideration is gonna be very important. You're gonna to need to know how far away from water you're gonna be, and you're also gonna to need to know about the sources of water that you're gonna be able to draw from. Some people like the iodine pellets, uh, uh, tablets, they take up no space at all. If you can dip out of a good sized stream, a bottle like this can, uh, a filter bottle like that can work well for you. Or you can use this squeeze system right here that you can fill the bag with and then squeeze it into your mouth or squeeze it into your bladder. However, sometimes your streams or your seeps aren't very big and you're just gonna be able to carve out a little teeny basin. In that case, putting the, having this uh, 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 water purifier uh, um, pump where you can put in and suck out of a small water spot, that's gonna, that's gonna really be a benefit for you in those sort of situations. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to consider is some, uh, some warmth for your extremities and, uh, and maybe a little extra quietness. And for that quietness, we've got our sneaky feet, our bear's feet, a number of different uh, manufacturers have them. These can be great for getting close to animals, helping you finish the stock. Keeping your hands warm, you're gonna to wanna to know if you're gonna wear heavier gloves, or if you're gonna to wanna to wear a light pair of gloves. So again, depending on your situation, depending on the weather you're gonna be uh, facing, you're gonna to have to determine what you wanna wear there. And then a hat, I wear a little hat like this uh, covering my ears in the morning and the evening on Western hunts because uh, uh, it gets a little cold in the morning and evening and it feels awful good over my head. And then our last consideration we're gonna to have today is uh, warmth and dryness. If it's back in and it's getting cold uh, back in, in the mountains in the west, is this down jacket. And this will crumple up to almost nothing. I can jam this into my pack and it'll keep me warm uh, into some uh, pretty good situations. The next uh, consideration I'm gonna have is staying dry. So rain gear, I've got some packable rain gear here that's not very expensive and that'll keep you uh, dry. This, this is just, um, uh, inexpensive rain gear that you can get at Walmart or anywhere. It's kind of rubberized. You will build up condensation inside. So if you've got some heavy activity, you're gonna get, uh, you're gonna uh, perspire inside and that moisture is not gonna go anywhere. 
If the weather's really bad and you know you're just gonna be in extended periods, this is not really packable stuff, but some of this uh, coats and jackets, like from Rivers West, will keep you dry under some pretty awful conditions and they wick away water pretty well, so you can, you can really get a lot of hunting done into some, into some bad conditions. So that's it, that's pretty much what you're gonna have in your packs. Of course, there's always things like clothes and sleeping bags, tents and stuff that you're gonna wanna consider. We'll cover that another time. This is enough for now. And thank you very much for tuning in and we'll get more specific on some of these details later. Thanks for tuning in to Mark Rupee Outdoors. Well, we hope you found that useful. If there's something in your pack that, uh, that we don't have in ours, we'd love to hear from you. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you very much for turning into Mark Rupee Outdoors. We'll see you next time.